Hello, illustrated suggestion comes to graduate. Let's go. Preparation for the moon travel is approaching completion, and the spacesuit is in progress. Turns out one of the ingredients is final, and Sam could realize his speed ran literal rocket science, while ignoring other simpler stuff. So, as Senku says, this is the last minute crafting projects before the moon launch. And man, there are lots of crafting projects. The one I want to focus on is the spacesuit diagram, especially the vinyl and silicone rubber, the camera film, hand warmers, and LCD. First, the spacesuit diagram. Electrolyzed salt water makes sodium hydroxide and chlorine gas. That's old news. But next to it is petroleum, which will be refined into naphtha, then final. I skip the explanation for the purification of oil that should happen when they found oil in season 3. But one of the biggest process in petroleum refinery is fractional distillation, which separates compounds based on boiling point. Then again, there was no fractional distillation in season 3 or chapter 95. I think Sanko used crude sagara oil for the small boat back then. One of the products of distillation is naphtha, which is a liquid that boils at low temperature. Naphtha has somewhere between 4 to 11 carbon atoms. Does that ring a bell in your head? That's pretty much just like gasoline. With some processing, naphtha can be blended into gasoline. Let's see the other end of this branch. Final or its full name polyphenol chloride or PVC is a plastic that's made up of this as repeating unit. The name final refers to the fact that the building block has a double bond in it. Final can mean double bond in organic chemistry. This thing came from two ways. In China, acetylene, the gas that stalled stainless plane, and hydrogen chloride, the gas that forms hydrochloric acid, are used, because getting the acetylene is easy with coal reserves around. Alternatively, 1,2-dichloroethane can be decomposed into the monomer and the HCl in 500 degrees Celsius and 15 to 30 atmosphere pressure. That dichloroethane can come from ethylene, from processing oil and gas. The ethylene, in turn, comes from cracking the naphtha. So, from 4 to 11 carbons to just 2 in double bond. Next, we have silicone rubber. It's not just carbons that can form polymers and rubbers. Silicon can do that too, together with oxygen, forming siloxane backbone. The starting ingredient here is silica, silicon dioxide, and fluoride, which I assume stands for hydrofluoric acid or HF. Meanwhile, I assume that the silicone rubber is polydimethyl siloxane, because it's the most common silicon polymer. I think there are a lot of missing ingredients and steps here as expected due to the accelerated pace of this endgame phase of Dr. Stone. Tracing from PDMS backwards, PDMS is created from this as monomer, which in turn is made of elemental silicon and methyl chloride. The methyl chloride can be made using methanol and HCl, two easy chemicals that have been mentioned before. The silicon can be made from reducing silica with carbon or aluminum. That part about reducing with carbon and aluminum, that's what I said back in the super alloy chapter. And there we go, from silica to PDMS. Uh, wait, where is the fluoride or HF? This is the part that confuses me. I know one property of hydrofluoric acid is that it can attack glass, and glass is silica. That may come in handy for purifying the silica or silicon. But perhaps such purity is not necessary since we are not making semiconductor with this silicon. Maybe the hexafluorosilicic acid produced is hydrolyzed back to pure silica. So now we start here with probably pure silica. The next thing we have is 8mm video camera or just the film. Previously, Minami got the gerotype for her camera. The light sensitive silver compound pressed on glass or metal plates. Now with the film, the silver compound pressed on a thin transparent film, and that film is cellophane. Are you sure about that? With the vinegar mentioned, 
I think the chemical mentioned is cellulose acetate, which is indeed used as photography film. Cellulose has three free OH group left in each glucose unit, so it can form ester with acetic acid aka vinegar, forming cellulose monoacetate, diacetate, or triacetate. This is a bit similar to nitrocellulose I mentioned in the gun special episode, which also at one point used as photography film too. With that, the mechanism should be similar to nitrocellulose, which in turn is also similar to nitroglycerin. It should use sulfuric acid just like with nitrocellulose, and after doing some Google search, I think bases like sodium hydroxide cannot catalyze esterification. What base can do well though is hydrolyzing esters, like bridging cellulose triacetate back to diacetate or even to regular cellulose. So what are you saying, Senku? Also, cellophane is a different substance to cellulose acetate. Cellophane is actually chemically the same as cellulose. The difference is in their physical structure, not chemical structure. Next up, hand warmers. When iron rusts, it gives off heat, Senku says, and come when with iron and salt water shed. I interpret this as two different heating methods. The first one is pretty much what Senku says, air activated hand warmer. It uses iron, stuff to hold water like vermiculite and activated carbon, and also salt to carry iron or electrolyte that quickens the rusting process. When it comes into contact with oxygen from air, redox reaction happens, and set reaction generates heat. Meanwhile, Chrome mixes iron sand. If you remember the iron making episode back in season 1, the iron sand is not really iron, it's magnetite or iron oxide. Cannot oxidize iron further if it's already iron oxide, so Chrome's hand warmer will not work, uh, right? Objection, I interpret that as a different kind of warmer, flameless MRE heater. The iron sand stands for, well, iron oxide, while the salt water ship, I interpret that as magnesium. It's made out of salt from seawater and can be made into thin long sheet with core ribbon. So that counts, right? In flameless MRE heater, not only it's possible we have the iron rusting reaction, but we also have magnesium rusting reaction, which also generates heat. One possible way the magnesium rusts is because it takes the oxygen from the iron oxide. Magnesium is more easily oxidized than iron. However, as the name says, this one is not used to warm hands, and the instruction to use it is different. It needs added water into the packet. Lastly, the one that got quite a focus in this chapter is the liquid crystal display, or LCD, which requires liquid crystal in it. Being a crystal means that it has very regular, tidy, and repeating units that compose a compound, and that usually belongs to a compound in solid state. Liquids are usually rather jumbled and disordered. There are some compounds that are liquid, but has some degree of order in it so it's called liquid crystal. One example of the liquid crystal compound is MBBA, which is like a rod in shape. There are certain shapes like disc, bowl, or rod that's required to be a liquid crystal, and being rod-like, MBBA is one of them. How do I know it's MBBA? Besides being mentioned in Wikipedia as one of the most popular liquid crystal, Looks like the two ingredients are here in this panel, butyl aniline and methoxybenzaldehyde. I think the N here is wrong though, should be 4, probably caused by MBBA's full name. And this Tolwin stuff? Uh, maybe another mistake. Those two came from even simpler compounds. Butyl aniline can come from aniline and butyryl chloride using Friedel Crafts acylation, comboed with Clemensen reduction. The aniline came from coal tar and the butyric acid from propane or syn gas. For the other side, it can be made with the essential oil from this spice that went through ozonolysis, just like vanillin that came from bay laurel in chapter 155. 
this spice is must be what Chelsea thinks as Chinese food. With that liquid done, now the light bending stuff. To understand this one, you might want to brush up about the nature of light. Light is actually electric field wave and magnetic field wave combined. The magnetic field is always perpendicular to the electric field, so we represent only the electric field here. Usually, the electric waves in light oscillate in random direction. However, through the groovy glass that is the polarizing filter, only light with electric waves that matches the filter can pass. We call this light polarized. If we pass polarized light into another polarizing filter, it can be unchanged, pass through partially, or completely blocked, depending on the orientation of the second filter and the polarized light from the first filter. Of course, the one that we use is the 90 degree one, so if there is nothing between the two filters, it will definitely be blocked. But, we have our liquid crystal, and the crystal can arrange themselves in a helix, so it rotates polarized light. This phenomenon, called optical rotation, is also found in any chiral molecules, not just liquid crystals, for example sugar. You might remember high school exercises, where you have to find a carbon attached to four different groups. That's the exercise to determine if the molecule is chiral or not. The difference now is that when electric field is applied, liquid crystal stops rotating polarized light because the crystal structure change. Sugar water can rotate polarized light too, but sugar water will keep rotating polarized light with electric field on, so you cannot use sugar water for this purpose. Well, that's how I connect this new information with the things I know beforehand. In conclusion, Final comes from the part in petroleum that was 4 to 11 carbon atoms long, but split apart into molecules 2 carbon atoms long. The silicon rubber definitely needs silica as silicon source, but I'm not sure about it needing help from fluoride or hydrofluoric acid. Cellulose acetate, not cellophane, is an ester similar to nitrocellulose, and it uses sulfuric acid, not base like sodium hydroxide. There are hand warmers that operates on the energy released by iron oxidation, but there are also heaters that operates on the energy released by magnesium oxidation, used for soldiers' ration. The liquid crystal compound is a rod-shaped organic molecule that can be synthesized from basic chemicals in several steps. Once that's done, LCD works by manipulating one's of light's property, being polarizable. And with that, it can be blocked with filter or rotated with chiral chemical. And both happen in LCD. That's all I have for now. If you're satisfied with the video, just like the video. Thanks for watching.